Luckily, we here at LateModelRestoration.com have you covered with all new LX body side moldings. They're available individually as well as in several different kits for your 87 to 93 LX Mustang. The kit we have in front of us is intended for 1987 to 1990 LX Mustangs. We also have a kit available for 91 to 93 LX Mustangs. These complete kits include the six urethane pieces as well as the four plastic pieces. Now, if your car is like most others, the urethane pieces are the main offenders, and we have a six-piece kit that covers all those urethane pieces. It'll fit 87 all the way to 93. All these kits include the 3M adhesion promoter, that way you don't have to worry about them peeling off. Now for the question of color. 1987 to 1991 LX Mustangs are going to have trim black painted molding. 1992 and 93 Mustangs, those are going to be body colors, so you're going to want to visit your body shop to have those matched up to your car. The urethane body side moldings used on Fox Mustangs is prone to curling, peeling tape, and even some shrinkage, especially if your car has been painted or the moldings have been removed and not reinstalled properly. A walk around this 1990 LX Coupe shows us that several of the moldings, both urethane and plastic, need some love and we're going to give them just that. Removal of your body side moldings, especially the urethane ones, is pretty straightforward. If you're going to be reusing moldings, you can use either fishing string or a really thin bladed putty knife. That way you don't damage your molding. If you're in a situation like us where you're replacing the molding, simply grab hold and tear it off. Your six urethane body side moldings are attached to the car using 3M double sided tape. Now whenever you pull your old molding off, there's going to be some residue left behind, maybe even some tape remnants, and we're going to need to clean that up. First thing to do is wipe off any dirt that's behind that molding. Then you can grab one of our eraser wheels uh, available on our website to remove any of the leftover tape residue. After you get that extra tape residue out of the way, I like to go ahead and wipe down with denatured alcohol just to make sure there's no contaminants left on the surface. After we're done with that, we'll go ahead and use a 3M adhesion promoter included with our molding kits. That way you don't have to worry about that tape peeling off later down the road. After you get your paint prepped up, then go ahead and grab your fresh molding. Then go ahead and pull back the corners of the tape like this. And then use masking tape to center the molding onto the car before you peel the tape off and stick it permanently. Now if you find yourself in the same position we did, missing a plastic molding, don't worry, we've got you covered and even have the correct attaching nuts that have the proper sealer on them to get it attached back to the body. To install, you'll have to remove your inner trunk panels, slide the plastic molding into place, and then use a half inch wrench to tighten down your three nuts. Now your front of front fender molding is plastic just like the rear of rear quarter molding and it's held on with four nuts, the exact same nuts like the rear quarter and you can access those from underneath the bumper cover right here using the exact same half inch wrench. It is amazing what you can accomplish with just a few new moldings and a can of exterior trim paint. To improve the appearance of your Mustang, check out LateModelRestoration.com.